After you are done drawing the hills, moon, and trees, you are ready to color in the sky. I will be showing you how to color in the sky using crayons, but if you're interested in using watercolors, I have another demonstration video that you can watch. For my project, I will be using these colors, and when you're coloring it in, just use one color at a time. I like to draw a line and then fill in the area before moving on to the next color. Don't be afraid to blend your new color on top of your previous color. It will give it a nice transition between colors. After you are done with the sky, we are going to work on the footsteps. Before we draw our footsteps, we are going to learn about an element of art called value. And value deals with the lightness or darkness of a color. You can show value with your crowns. If you press hard, you can get a dark color value. And if you press lighter, you can get a lighter color value. For our footsteps, we will only be using the color black. You can either use a black crayon or a black color pencil, but you cannot use a black marker. On a separate piece of paper, try practicing your footprints. Begin by drawing small ovals. Your footprints will begin with the darkest color value, and as they get smaller, the color will also get lighter until the footprints are teeny tiny and barely visible. Once you're ready, get out your drawing and start creating your footprints. Pick a spot close to the bottom of your paper and start moving towards where your hills meet. We will not be drawing any footprints on the second smaller hill. It's easier to create all of your footprints with a light color value, so just press lightly when first creating your footprints and then you can always make your colors darker. Remember, our footprints will start dark and then they will get lighter until you can barely see them. And when it comes to the size, the footprints will start small and will continue getting smaller. After you're done with your footprints, you are finished with your project. 